Hey everybody, welcome back. It is me, Luke Mick here, and this is my review for Neighbors. So Neighbors is directed by Nicholas Stoller, who directed Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Get Him to the Greek, and I actually really like Get Him to the Greek. I think that movie is kind of hilarious, but that's another story for another time. Now, this movie stars Seth Rogen, Rose Byrne, Dave Franco, and Zac Efron. I don't know why I said Dave Franco's name before Zac Efron, because Zac Efron is kind of the leader in the fraternity in this movie, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Now, first thing I'm just going to say real quick, you guys, is that I'm sorry that this review is pretty late. I've been sick lately. I, If you can tell, my voice is pretty much back to normal, but my voice has not been the right way recently, and I've been switching between jobs, but now I'm kind of getting back on track with my movie reviews. So, this movie, Neighbors, was something that I was pretty excited for. I always like Seth Rogen and everything he puts out. I like all their projects for the most part. And this looked like a pretty promising movie from the trailer. But the thing is, this trailer pretty much gives everything about the story away. And that really, really just pissed me off. Now, this movie is basically about Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne, who is a married couple with a very young daughter. Uh, she's actually a baby. And they live in a nice neighborhood. They love their house. They have a good life. Uh, and they don't get to party a lot, but you know, they have a good time. And a fraternity obviously moves into the house next to them. And the whole movie is basically both houses kind of going head to head and fighting over parties and quiet and stuff like that. Now, like I said, just a couple seconds ago, this movie is totally ruined by the trailer. Basically everything that happens, um, story wise in this movie was seen in the trailer and that really annoyed me. I saw everything coming from a mile away and it did give away a lot of the jokes too obviously because trailers need to have the jokes but um, Neighbors actually did keep a lot of those jokes kind of hidden within the movie. It didn't show too many of them in the trailer which is good. Now this movie is always funny for the most part. I mean it's a, it's a pretty funny movie. I always like Seth Rogen's humor and I thought that that was good but overall this movie to me was just really kind of underwhelming because I expected everything that I saw. It didn't really... I don't know, it didn't really change it up that much. It wasn't anything unique or different. It was pretty much the same old stuff we get from these guys, and the trailer seriously just kind of ruined the whole movie for me, because on top of everything kind of being the same, I knew exactly what was going to happen in the story at almost all times. So the movie is directed well by Nicholas Stoller. There's a, lots of, there's a lot of really nice things to look at in this movie, lots of colors, especially at some of the parties in the fraternity, in the house, and all that stuff. There, you know, it's a really good-looking movie, and it, it's definitely, you know, their signature style with the comedy and everything. But oh, honestly, this movie was just kind of underwhelming to me. It was all right. It could have been better, I think. And uh, Zac Efron and Dave Franco actually did a good job. I usually don't like these guys very much. But they were pretty good. Seth Rogen's good as always. And there are some other supporting actors and actresses in this movie that I think are actually quite funny. Overall, the movie's all right. I'm going to give it three out of five stars. This is Luke Mick signing off. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.